Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. There's a, there's a bunch of stuff going on, guys. I don't feel like doing all the traditional stuff that we always do here, to be honest with you, tonight, because uh, there's like some very sad news that I heard about. Uh, today, when I got here into the studio, and uh, it's it's been on my mind all day. I won't lie, Walter, I've been crying like a baby on and off. <laughs> you know, so the uh, basically to uh, just give it to you guys straight, our friend Frank DeSoma of uh, POF Patriot Ordnance Firearms passed yesterday. Uh, let me see. I'll I'll try to bring up something here in the news for you all if you haven't heard about it um, let's see actually it was on it was uh, yeah Thursday evening last night so here let me, uh, let me let me throw this up here it says Phoenix uh, Phoenix police investigating deadly crash on carefree highway uh, Phoenix police are inv investigating a deadly crash in North Phoenix authorities say 57-year-old Frank DeSoma was driving a Jeep oh. on Carefree Highway near Interstate 17 on Thursday evening when he went off the road and crashed. A witness indicated that a red or orange car may have turned in front of the Jeep, causing DeSoma to swerve and lose control. When the Jeep went off the road, it rolled over, causing serious injuries to DeSoma. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead, according to police. The driver of the car who might have swerved in front of the Jeep did not stay at the scene and police have not made contact with the driver. The investigation remains ongoing. Um, yeah, there's, uh, of course, there's, um, there's uh, different blogs out there, different people. If we, uh, if we look here at uh, the truth about guns, Truth About Guns has an article, it says Frank DeSoma, R.I.P. Uh, you guys can hear me, right? You can hear me, right? Walter? Yeah, we can hear okay. you. Yep, just yep, making yep. sure I'm seeing something popping up here. Uh, Frank DeSoma founded Phoenix-based Patriot Ordnance Factory in 2002. Makers of quality rifles, pistols, as well as Glock and various AR platform parts. And it talks about the uh, ABC 15 report. On Frank there, let's see, I think that there was uh, one also in uh, the, the firearms blog. We could pull that up. POF founder, DeSoma, uh, CEO Frank DeSoma dies in car accident. Um, let me see. I also, there's, if you guys uh, look on IG. So I found out about this from, actually from Dillspec. Young, you know, young Dylan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he uh he was uh texting me earlier and it was just shocking to me, man. Um if you go to here I'll 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 run this in from my uh from my phone. Here's the uh the quote from the POF USA guys. It says, It is foolish and wrong to mourn the men who died, rather we should thank God that such men lived, George S. Patton. Um, and it goes on there. So, yeah, man, it's pretty tough. Frank was on the show like two months ago, you know, and I've known him for, I've known him for a little while, Walter. I think you, you, you've met him, right? You've spoken to him. Uh, yeah. When I, I've met him, we've talked about uppers and stuff over yeah. different, different times. Yeah. Yeah. What do you, what did you think about him? I thought he was oh, a good he's guy. Fine. I mean, yeah. I didn't have a lot of dealings with him, mm -hmm. but I mean, he seemed like a decent guy. You know, when you meet him, you say hello, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he was a good guy, you know. I, I think there's a lot of good guys in the gun community. He's one of them. You know, you're one of them. But he was one of those guys, man. He was very passionate. You know, he was very passionate yeah. about uh, the Second Amendment, about the guns that he made, um, about all the things that he was into, his family, his company, the people that worked for him, the guns that he made, all that kind of stuff. I remember... Um, so I, I, I've known of POF for a long time. I don't own a POF rifle. I have done, uh, I have shot them. I have done at least one, if not two videos. These are some of the, the best rifles 
that exists. Do you remember? Do you remember when uh, Iraq veteran um, did one of those burn down videos on that thing? Uh, not exactly. Yes. Yeah. You know, but he couldn't you know, get it to not work or something, or what? Yeah, you know what they do those, uh, you know, yeah. You know, yeah, they shoot it until it stops. Yeah, yeah, you know what they do, they do those videos. Let me see, is it, who's, uh, you're not uh, sending me messages, are you? No, okay. Me, no. no. Yeah, okay, I think I'm just getting something from the system here. Yeah, I believe, I, let me see if I could find that. I believe it was the POF, uh, if you guys, uh, if you guys are aware of that, I believe it was POF, I, I don't think I'm wrong on that i believe it was uh what do they call those burn down i call them burn down videos uh that'll work it's good enough i mean that's what you're trying to do make it not work yeah tortures i don't know uh yeah i'm trying to uh, yeah here, meltdown meltdown here we go meltdown there you go uh you know what here i'll run this in for you guys man uh you know i'm gonna i'm just gonna take a little bit of time here uh just going to take a little bit of time here to get into this. So here we go. Let's uh, take a look at this uh, meltdown video. We'll do, look at a little bit of here. Um, this is on Iraq veteran 8888. And what I remembered about this video is Eric got tired of uh... <laughs> <laughs> trying to get it to melt down. Yeah. Um, look, he's wearing like bulletproof and a face mask. Yeah, he wears like the <laughs> welding gloves and a welding mask and all this stuff. Yeah, um, you know, so there's a you know there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stuff out there about POF. I think I think people would agree with me. These guys made the best rifles. Uh, Frank was very passionate about that. I, I think in my uh, in my mind, he's very passionate about this. He came here on the show a couple months ago to talk about. POF and all these different things that he was into. Uh, I think there was episode 541. I'll uh, pull it up for anyone who wants to look at it. I know it's two hours long, but it's a really, it's a great conversation. I don't, you know, Walter, you know me, right? I don't often have just one person here. I think you and I could do it because we're we're really good buddies. We we talk too much. Yeah, because you never know. Sometimes you get somebody on and I when I've been on with somebody else and they just sit there. Yeah. Uh, so you know, uh, everybody's not like talkative. <laughs> no, not Frank, man. Frank was a very passionate oh, guy. I think you yeah. you all will enjoy this. Um, I know when I commented on the IG post that POF made, uh, they they told me that they really appreciated that we did that a podcast with him. You know, so he was a really passionate guy, man. And it's easy when passionate guys like me and you when we get together, it's easy to. Uh, to talk and have these conversations I think um, and I know I threw up some snippets of that too you know um, I, I here's my story I'm gonna tell you guys about Frank DeSoma so usually Walter you go with me to see Michelle yeah um, so last year we went together the year before that we didn't I was out there all by my lonesome Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it's tough. It's, you know that, man. It's it's more well, fun going yeah, to that show yeah, with you. Yeah, you need a team. You got to have a team. Yeah, I enjoy going to that show with you, mostly because when, when we go when we go to the show, I'm I'm the boss. <laughs> technically, technically, we go going, going yes, on the boss. I do what you want. <laughs> technically, technically, Walter is still, you know. Yes, I I have his badge on. He doesn't have my badge on. So. Yeah, Walter knows a lot more about those vehicles. So anyway, I was out there by myself, and uh, I was just you know working the whole time, and you know there was this guy. I, I know I was talking to some people, and there was this guy that was just standing there like waiting on me. So I started talking. He looked familiar. And I started talking to him, and he's like, hey, I'm Frank DeSoma, POF. What's up, Hank Strange? You know? He, he was just talking to me about stuff, and I was like, man, what's, what's going on, you know? He's just a really good guy. He gave me his card and all that kind of stuff, and all those things led to him being here on the show. And I think he was just that kind of guy. Like, imagine, like, this is someone who passionately cares about guns, passionately cared about vehicles as well, uh, passionately cared about America, you know, um, he... he he was a really he was a really cool dude. Here's a picture. I want to share this uh, with you guys. I'm gonna. This is on my phone. This is something he texted me shortly after we had that conversation. This is a beautiful. I wish I. I think this is a Dodge Walter. When you get a chance and you see it, I believe this is a Dodge truck. I'll look at my text here in a second. 
uh, from him that he he rebuilt and built up obviously you know you can see him there if we zoom in he's got one of the POF rifles you know you can see the uh, you can see the flag you can see the company you know they just uh, recently built up a factory there I was gonna go out and actually I think see that's these guys. a Chevrolet Chevy okay Chevrolet. yeah so uh, let me see he probably told me in his uh, you know, uh, you know, he probably told me in in his text here. If I go pull it up, I'll tell I'll tell you guys exactly what it was. So yeah, man, it's uh, I, I I'm taking that pretty tough. It's a tough thing to lose, like a fellow gun guy, a fellow patriot, someone who really loved America, who was passionate about it, willing to get up here. I think a lot of people don't. There's a lot of people out there that don't really appreciate what it takes, and I think you do, Walter. You know that's why I'm, I'm glad that we're that you're here and we're having the conversation. People don't understand what it takes to to like run a company every day and have all these people. Some of them are your family members, and and even if they're not your family members, they work for you. They like your family members, and and you guys are building these things every day and dealing with all the crap that you have to deal with from the government and and manufacturing and, and running a plant and. And then to get out there and speak to the people, especially like the way that, you know, Frank did it. He got out there and spoke to people just like you do, Walter, putting yourself at risk. You know, <laughs> sometimes you say things and people aren't happy about what you have to say. Um, oh, well. Yeah. You know, I think I think it's tough to do that. And it's tough to uh, to to lose someone like that. So I would say definitely rest in peace. You know, uh, my condolences go out to the to his family and and to the, his uh, extended family at POF that's really tough I know to deal with if it's tough for me and I didn't know him as well as you guys uh, I can just amplify whatever I'm feeling by like a thousand so yeah yeah no no I'd, I'd see him at um they, they uh, POF sets up at Knob Creek mm -hmm. um I might hang on back up back up hang on back. no no it's not it's not POF I'm sorry Mm -hmm. But I'd see him. I'd see him. I believe I've seen him at the creek. But I know I've seen him at shot show and stuff like that before mm -hmm. too. So, and um, yeah, yeah, just a you know nice guy. I'd always say hello. So you know. yeah, he was a good guy. Here's here's what he said. He said our new factory in the background and my daily driver, 1957 Chevy, 3100 four by four truck. That's cool. That's that bad. Was, that was badass, man. That's show worthy yeah. right there. Show worthy. Yeah. Um, well. So. Um, Tyvin texts me, asked me, can you ask Hank to show his Instagram or Facebook page so I and others can give our condolences? Yeah, um, I would just, I would recommend everyone goes to POF. So if you, uh, here, I'll show, there's a couple of things. So uh, it, the, the number one way that you can do that is go to POF USA. Here it goes. Here's their post that they made. Um, uh, it's on POF USA. If if you follow me, then uh, you, there's actually a link. If you if you follow me on Hank Strange, what am I doing? I could just go to my own thing right here. Um, you'll see that I have a post up. I posted that picture there, and um, you know you can uh, you can follow that out to the POF guys if you if you want to do that. But yeah, uh, definitely go to POF. That's the place to go. Just search POF. USA. Once you put in POF, it's probably going to come up right there, and uh, there's tons of stuff there. And those guys, I recommend that you follow this page. Uh, I'm sure that these guys have um, as much passion as Frank had about building these guns and and America and all that, all this awesome stuff that we try to celebrate here as much as we can. Uh, Fud Life says Frank was a big car guy too. Yeah, he was, man. That's why he was out. There's actually a, a lot of gun guys. It's not just Walter <laughs> and myself, man. There's that that year when I ran into him, I ran into um, uh, I think one or two of the sons of the owner of Knights Armament. Yeah. Um. This this quite a lot of gun guys out there that are also into cars. So. Um, Fud Life says, uh, yeah, Frank was solid dude, dude, cool cat. And one of the innovators out there in the industry, he will be missed, for sure. Uh, and Kathleen Music Lover is asking if it's a vehicle accident. It was one of those things, from what we read here, it's just one of those things where someone looks like someone cut him off and caused him to crash the Jeep that he was driving. 
and uh, didn't bother to stop. Which I don't know about Arizona, but I know in Florida that's against the law. You know, to yeah. uh, to leave the scene of an accident like that without trying to render assistance. So. Yeah, especially if you caused it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Um, Chris Bola says lots of things about him on Facebook as well. There's a, you know, a lot of people in the industry knew this guy. This guy was really out there advocating for the firearms industry. You know, as you should be if you make these things, but not everyone does it, Walt. <laughs> yeah. No, you know. I mean, no, I get it. Uh, yeah. It's tough. It's a tough deal, man. You, you get Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.